Hi, welcome to a brand new Simply Maya tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at volume 2 of our house modeling. Although the tutorial can be seen as a standalone as well if you already have a house. Now in general what we normally do after we've done a modeling project is the UV and texturing for it. I actually wanted to take this in a slightly different direction. So what we've done here is we'll start out the project by taking a look at this roof because we've made the roof in the original tutorial as individual segments of geometry so in that one we took a, a look at how to lay these out quickly and a few different techniques for doing this kind of thing the problem with it is that if you have this high detail lots of geometry kind of solution for things like a roof or tiles or whatnot it can become quite a pain to texture later on so we start our tutorial by quickly UVing the roof and we take a look at some baking techniques to bake this geometry down into displacement ambient occlusion maps and whatnot that way we'll be able to texture the roof quickly and easily later on in a traditional 2d paint package like Photoshop without any problems at all. From there we move on to the environment of the house. Now I really wanted to take a look at creating some of these trees, bushes, grasses, various different types of leafy um, kind of smaller trees here. So this tutorial is really going to run you through the environment creation. So we're going to go from a uh, bare house model to something that looks like this. And to do this we're going to explore a variety of different things. We're going to look, as I said, at some quick hard surface UVing for the main building. We won't be UVing everything in here, just enough to uh, get you started really. We're going to look at some texture baking for turning high res geometry into low res geometry. Kind of thing you could do with either displacement or normal maps. It's kind of standard practice in game modeling, but it also works very well for uh, making it easier to texture later on. Then we'll be looking at all this environment detail, so placement of grass uh, through particle systems and things like this. So at the end of this tutorial you should be able to take any of your ArcBiz projects that you've done yourself, uh, if you're already working on one, and give them an environment, give them trees, grass, bushes and that sort of thing. So I hope to see you for this one. There will also be a volume 3 when we'll look at the actual texture painting, but for this one I wanted to concentrate mainly on preparing the uh, environment and also preparing the house itself for easier texturing later on. So I hope to see you for this one and I uh, thank you for watching.